your feud with Bruno San Martino. I mean, we briefly touched about it, but can you go into a little bit more detail about wrestling Bruno and basically that, that great feud that you guys had? Oh, Bruno was unbelievable. I mean, first of all, uh, the whole WWWF promotion was about Bruno San Martino. Everything else is secondary. It was about Bruno San Martino. And uh, Bruno was such a, a different kind of talent, really, uh, because he was over so strong. I, I, I mean, I, I worked on shows where they had, uh, like, Hulk Hogan, who was really over pretty strong worldwide, but nothing like what Bruno was in New York, Philadelphia, Boston, and then Northeast. Bruno was, I'd never seen him like it before. And uh, Bruno, like, you know, I was a heel, so I'd go to the ring first. The people would go crazy. And he'd wait until they, you know, start to come down a little bit. And then they would announce Bruno, and he'd be looking out the crack. And I and I knew he was watching. So every night, every time the crowd would start to come down, I knew he was about ready to come out, and they'd make that big announcement, Bruno's down, and the roof would go off. I would start working the crowd again. <laughs> One time I kept him in the gardens almost 20 minutes. He couldn't come out because I'd never let the crowd come down. <laughs> I had a lot of fun with him that way, but he, he you know, he was in great shape. Uh, he uh, uh, he worked so hard that you had to, you know, you had to be in shape to stay up with him just in the show because he, he was just uh, over so strong. I remember uh, times in the gardens where his fans, who were mostly Italian, would come sliding and running down the aisles like they want to kill you. And I mean, you know, it was just it, <laughs> he had to have, they had. I got pictures of it where they have like 15, 20 of New York's finest police around the ring just to get me to and from the ring because they love this guy so much. Uh, we didn't have barriers back then, so uh, uh, the police was very important. Um, I had people in New York try to kill me. I mean, it was, it was just over the top stuff. It was the deal was wrestling back then was always predetermined. Okay, we always knew who was going to win. But uh, we didn't know how we were going to get there. There was none of this dance stuff like they have now where everything's choreographed. We actually wrestled uh, until we felt like it was time for the finish. And so usually our matches would last, last anywhere between 30 and 45, 50 minutes with an hour time limit. A few times we went the full hour by plan. But uh, everything was real. And, and so, you know, you're going 40, 45 minutes real hard and tough, and you're actually doing some wrestling stuff. Uh it's very believable for them and you too. Sometimes I thought I was going to die of exhaustion in the ring. And Bruno was the same way, but he was in such great shape. Golly, Pete. Now, what's the relationship like with Bruno behind the scenes? Behind the scenes, Bruno was just Bruno. <laughs> he, uh, you know, I had a lot of respect for Bruno. He did a lot for me, honestly. But uh, he. Uh, he was the real deal. I mean, it was you know, he didn't walk around saying, "This is a put down, okay," but in a nice way. Nowadays, the guys that are supposed to be superstars, how you doing, bro? Duh, and all that nonsense. There wasn't any of that stuff. I mean, he didn't walk in the dressing room and go around and shake everybody's hand. Hey, bro? Duh. Hey, bro? Duh. Hey. That's you know, that phony friendship never did work with him. Army, I never bought into that kind of stuff. Uh, becomes very redundant. and Doesn't mean much, does it? Now, was there ever, ever any heat between you two? Because I've, I've read that there was a little bit of heat between you guys. Yeah, that point. was more probably later on. Uh, we were, you know, very in, in, in competition. We were pretty, pretty uh, brutal. But uh, it was always a friendship. I don't know. You, you said you heard about. Tell me what you heard, and I'll tell you exactly what we're talking about. No, not really anything specific. Just that um, you guys basically didn't get along for a period of time. Oh, that was after after we were both retired. After we were both retired, uh, yeah, that 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 that's become a bit of a problem. Very simple. Uh, uh, Bruno was always very much into this is real and I'm the champion of the world type thing, and um, that that's nice, uh, whatever. But uh, at one point, he made a he made a statement. To a lot of people that most wrestlers were just gimmicks 
and they referred to uh, referred to me about, uh, as a gimmick. And my wrestling uh, behavior was my character, my wrestling character. Not it wasn't a gimmick. The gimmick was my foreign object. And so that you know, they went to a couple of magazines, and I had a magazine call me up asking what I thought about that. And I said, well, if we're going to talk about gimmicks, let's talk about the uh, WWF championship belt. It's the biggest gimmick in the business because it's not real. Nobody really wins it. That pissed them off. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, and I knew it would. But it also I didn't like him going around telling everybody that everybody else is a, uh, a gimmick and he was the real deal. Uh, so, you know. It is what it is. Uh, I did a lot for Bruno. Uh, I made him look very good, look, like a great champion. He did a lot for me. Uh, positioned me very well in the wrestling business. Uh, so I uh, respect him totally. But uh, when the uh, rubber comes to the concrete, you know, the truth comes out. 